As some of you guys know, I caught what would be my personal best on a scale um, a couple weeks back, a 12 pound, six ounce fish that absolutely blew my mind. And it's really got me thinking, especially with the past season that I had out there, caught a lot of giant fish doing this deep deal. And I know a lot of you guys don't like watching it, but it's what I like doing for now. And I'm gonna get back out to the lake, but it's really become this sort of intellectual kind of fun game for me. And it kind of brings me to where I'm at is, I really believe there's some giants out there. I'm not talking California giants, but I'm talking like 14 plus pound fish maybe up to like 16 and there's probably like one of them in there i don't know exactly but i think they're there and i think in comparison to a lot of um like florida swamp lakes i think I, using that offshore deal i think they're targetable and catchable but we're gonna have to go a little like california a west coast dl swim bait style on them i think too but we got to do it in our own east coast little way and one thing that's in there is giant gizzard shed so I've kind of committed to this. I want to catch a giant. I want to catch like, I mean, maybe it isn't 14, but like th over 13, like a 13 plus plus, like 14 or 15 would be awesome. But I want to catch it. I want to catch it on video and I want to catch it on those lakes because that's where I think it's viable. That's where I've done my research and I think that's where it's going to happen. But here's what I got to do that. Um, I grabbed, I think they're going to eat a gizzard shed. I mean, they're eating brim, but I think it has a lot to do with big gizzard shed. It's kind of like the TVA deal. Um, I grabbed some big swim baits, and I think there's a couple. This one isn't that big, but it's Smash Tech Custom. Grabbed them all from Monster Fishing. Smash Tech Custom Baits. It's, it's like a shiner, actually, but it's, it kind of looks like the gizzard shed. But I think the couple that are going to be the big players, this is a Savage Gear. Um, this is absolutely giant. I think it's called hell is it called i don't know slow sink gizzard shed whatever it's gigantic man and um this looks like some of the dead or flopping like gizzard shed i've either seen on top or some of the gizzard shed i've seen stuck in the gullets of these fish and um these are what i'm more excited about because i think this is actually what's going to catch it and if you guys haven't checked out bull shed swim baits and mike buka he is one of the coolest tackle innovators that's out there and he makes an awesome freaking product um i scored the nine inch i think it's five and a half ounce um bull shed this is the slow sink so i'm going to put a weight on the nose of it but as this water cools down and these fish start to pot up i think this is what's going to catch them and it's just big it has a crazy cool action to it i can get it down there pretty well and um i know how to fish it already because i've fished the smaller ones so that thing um and then i do have the standard six inch too this is actually um this is a special one this one's not made yet it's a special extra weighted one for getting down there um you don't need to put the nose weight on this the single drop like i think i want to say you told me it was like three feet per second or something like that it gets down there like a three quarter ounce lead head swim bait basically um and that was part of my struggle with the, the bull sheds is they catch giants but getting them down there quick enough was really a struggle so this thing is supposed to get down there super fast that'll be key but um like i said we're gonna go big i want to catch a freaking giant like and it's not going to be a cali giant but I really think it's doable. I have that feeling where I think this could happen. Um, it's going to take some work. It's not going to happen all at once. But using those big swim baits, targeting big fish offshore, whether they're isolated or trying to isolate those bigger fish out of the schools, um, and, and really tapping that pre-spawn period or even that fall kind of like bulk up period, um, which is going to be key. But yeah, I just want to tell you guys, because if I catch it, then I can at least say like, hey, I told you I was going to catch one of those. So, <laughs> all right, guys, tight lines and uh, check out some of those baits at Monster Fishing. Um, I'm really excited about that bull shed, that nine inch, and the new Savage gear on um, that big gizzard shed. They should catch some big fish because I know that's what the big fish are eating.